Welcome to Techo World. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn social posts into animation, or what we say pictures animation. For this, I have used Photoshop for cutouts. Well, let's get started now. First, here I have made some cuts of pictures as you see here object parts are separated. Let me hide all this part. This one is showing because I have resized it according to my requirements. The original part of this cutout is this image. I cannot show you here how to mask it and resize it. Because, it takes a long time. You can have a look at the Photoshop cutout tutorials. And those who know about Photoshop then it's fine. Okay. Let us come back to our project. Here I have changed the background. I will keep this as my background. You can see here, all these parts are individual. And this is a shadow of a car. Let's delete this, I will show you how to do this, because this does not take more time. Create a layer by clicking on this icon. As of now let me drag this layer to the top. Select the brush and make some shadow effects like this. To increase brush size hold the ALT key on the keyboard. And then move the left button right and left to increase or decrease the size of the brush in the mouse. This color is not looking good. Let me pick up the black color from here. Hold the ALT key on the keyboard. For selecting this color click the right button on the mouse. Let's call this shadow. Now drag this layer down above the background layer. Let's make some changes in shadow to look better. If this shadow is looking too dark then you can decrease its opacity. But here I have done the full dark because you can see here if I do this it won't look good. Make sure that our subject looks good. Hope this much is fine. Let's hide this so if our shadow is not done properly we can do it by hiding other layers. Let's make this look perfect. Yeah, now it's fine. Let me save this as an animation. Click on OK. Now open the project. Let's close this project and open a new project. From the new composition from the footage, you can directly import our saved Photoshop file. Here change it to composition retain layer sizes then import it. Then here make sure to select the composition retain layer sizes, then click OK. Double click on this animation composition as you see here there is no animation for any of our subjects. Let's give the animation for this car. First, for this background, I give the motion tile effect. Then we change the position of the background before that output width, I will increase this to 1000. Then change the position direction towards the left at the starting point of the frame.
then go to the last frame, then change the position of direction towards the right. Let me make it around minus 10,000 so that our background frame comes to the end point. Let's make slight changes here. Okay, this is fine. Now you can see here that our car is moving. Now pre-compose the car body in shadow. Let's call it shadow. Give the keyframe starting of the keyframe then move a few frames forward then change the y-axis position slightly then move a few frames forward. Let's copy this keyframe position then paste it here. You can see here, slightly dance of our car. Give the motion blur for the background so that it looks good. Come back to the car composition layer hold alt then click the left button on the mouse and write the expression loop. For both tires give the expression. Hit alt and left click on mouse write the expression, time minus 1000. Both tires give the same expression. Perfect. With this tutorial you can create more creativity. I have shown you here just for demo purposes. Hope this video is helpful to you. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming interesting videos. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.